have these ground wires down here. Now what we have to do is separate the white wires and the black wires. So first off, we're going we're gonna to work with the white wires. So we want to get all those nicely coming in to a bunch and knowing that we can push them all the way back so that they're not overlapped on the black wires. Okay? So get the black wires resituated. Get, we're going to get those out of our way. And we're going to look at the white wires and make a determination how they fit in the box. Okay, so we're just going to have the white wires all situated all together here. Okay, like that. And I'll tell you what we do next. Now what we have to do is, remember we have the curly Q in this black wire here. And that goes up to the light switch on the other side. We've got to find the associated white wire that this is coming out of, and it's right, it's right here. We're gonna put a curly Q in that, just for right now, so I can remember that this wire and this wire is in one sheathing, one 12-2 gauge wire that goes up. 12-2 Romex that goes up to that light switch. Okay? And then we've got the other wire that goes up to the light switch is that one and this one. Got to remember that. Now I don't want to confuse you too much. It's You might have to play this video another time but we've got to do that for a reason and I'll explain that right now. Okay, we're going to do this step by step so as to not confuse you. Okay, remember this is our GFI plug that we took out of there. There was a yellow piece of tape that went over here. There's screws on the back side of that one. We pull that off. That's going to go up, or that's going to go to our other plug. Okay? So, you remember what we had in here before? We had a black and a white and we had a black and a white and these are the ones right here and they had a pigtail they had a, uh, a wire nut on these two with one pigtail coming out wire nut on these two with one pigtail coming out that's gonna get attached to the bottom so we've got so the first thing we have to do we're not even gonna worry about these wires okay first thing we gotta do is put a wire nut on here and have a little little piece of this was the old piece that came off of there okay we're going to have those two connected together with that one like that and we're going to have just one pigtail coming out we're going to do the same thing with the black okay so that's our next step now I had a little bit of extra wire left, and I'm glad I did. I'm going to strip off the sheathing, and then I'll have enough little pigtails that I can use to attach all of these. Because I had, I had the old ones. I could reuse this and rebend it all, and untwist it and use that. And I could do that in a pinch if I didn't have any extra wire. But I got this wire, and this will come in handy. It's always nice to have some extra pieces of wire with you. We're going to connect these two wires up just like it was before in the box to go down to the to the GFI plug. We just bend a little tab like that. Then we're going to strip these wires and put it on there like that and screw that together. These wires are just a hair too long, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut those off about there and then strip those back and be ready to put this on. Okay, I, before I go any further, I don't want to confuse confuse you. Usually you don't do this to regular plugs, but because this is a GFI, we've got to reconnect it to the bottom properly. Then when we come out of this to the next plug, we have this other plug in there. We may have the GFI over here and the plug there, but either way, out of this 
GFI to come for the power for the new plug. I'm going to pull this little yellow tab out of here, or this yellow tape, and we're going to attach these top screws with other wire that goes to the new plug. That way the new plug is GFI protected. That's that's how this particular GFI plug works. So there's a proper way. The, the power goes in from here. If you want to connect to any other wires coming out of this box, you've got to attach to these top screws. See, there's a screw there, and there's a screw there. Do you see? Here's where we're going to attach the, the main power coming into the box. It's, it's to the bottom here. And then going out of this box is this top, this screw, and this screw, okay? So I'm just going to put that tape on there so I don't get mixed up. So that's why we have to connect just these, just these two white wires together that were original. Usually you attach all the wires, all the white wires together, and then come out with some pigtails, but we can't do that. And I just explained why, okay?